This afternoon, a Floyd County woman learned how long she'll spend behind bars. Gladys Dickerson pleaded guilty to criminal abuse charges last month. Prosecutors say she played a role in the death of her two-year-old nephew. WYMT's Matthew Rand talked to prosecutors and has more. Prosecutors recommended a 15-year sentence for Gladys Dickerson, and that is what she received Thursday. We felt like that was a fair resolution. Uh, given her role, our, our main objective going in was to make sure that we got uh, the person that was responsible for Watson Atkins' death. Dickerson's husband, Jason, is serving life in prison for the death of two-year-old Watson Atkins and for the abuse of the child's siblings, whom were also in the Dickerson's care. The children's biological mother talked to us after Jason Dickerson's conviction in 2014. It's just sad that it took one of my kids dying for somebody to listen to me and get it in court and get people to pay for what happened to my kids. Prosecutors maintained that while Gladys Dickerson did not commit the specific acts of abuse, she could have done more to stop them. She acknowledged uh, in her testimony and in her statements to us that uh, she knew that she did not do what she needed to do to protect the kids uh, and regretted that. Prosecutors say because of Dickerson's smaller role in the case and because she testified against her husband at trial, they feel 15 years is a fair sentence. In Floyd County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. The judge credited Gladys Dickerson 1,600 days, which is more than four years for time already served.